Okay, listen, the four, she would love this because she always likes to ride the fence. We have proclaimed here, look, the only reason I have this is because it, it sets up a, like another feel of a segment like and, you know, like and what's your take on stuff, right? And you're, you're not, it's not working. Listen, she likes to go after some hard hitting topics, be it what, political, whatever, right? And I always, what, we just shut it down. We say, no, no way. Well, here is what has happened, okay? I almost took to that thing called YouTube with my own little spiel the other day, uh, last Sunday, a couple Sundays ago. Sunday morning television, nightly news, if you watch it, you've seen it. Here's the deal. Journalists, and I can say this, I'm, I'm about to get in real trouble, but this is the break that we've needed. Because if we cause a little controversy, they'll come, right? We'll have like that whole other viewership we didn't have before. And I was even going to name names today, but I won't. I won't name any names. Listen, a journalist of more than 20 years reporting the news, whether it be political or whatever it is, you cannot have an opinion. You cannot put inflection in your voice in certain places because that makes people believe certain things. Just stop. I mean, you've got to be unbiased. You've got to just report the news, report what's happening, let the people make a decision for themselves because I tell you what, have you noticed journalists lately with like a wink of an eye? a little inflection, saying things like a shot across the Republican bow or something like, you know what I mean? Little innuendo like that, that can infuriate a viewer, can sway them to believe a certain way when there's no truth to it at all. Do you agree with me, Healthy Hippie Chef? Do you understand what I'm saying? Stop trying to sway the audience. Your opinion is not the one that matters. And I'm so sick of hearing about, listen, it doesn't have to be political, but it probably is as I've made a reference four times to political. What are these polls? You know, have you ever been polled? Has anybody ever asked you, Matthew, what you think? Um, for completely unnecessary things, like, did you like the movie? Unnecessary things, did you like the movie, right. So polls, schmoles, whatever, stop. You know, everybody's already confused enough. Here's the deal. I want you to be informed, although I am not. I stopped watching news 2009, um, and, and I'm, I'm great. Ignorance is bliss. I mean, it, there's, there's too much of the same stuff and it's bad, okay? But if you want to make an informed decision about anything, should you turn on the news and listen to an anchor and believe everything the anchor is saying? No, collectively we say no, right? No. Not since 2009, right, when I left. But anyway, um, you need to research, whether it be political per se, <laughs> You know, candidates, whatever, just educate yourself. You'll make an informed decision. Do not listen to what these other people are saying. And it's, it's just, it's disgusting. It really is. And the media has the ability these days to buy someone, say on the political arena, if that's what we were talking about, which we're probably not talking about politics. But you can buy an election. You can buy certain things. It's trickery. You, you trick the, the viewing public into doing what you want them to do based on the inflection, what you say. And we should now move on, right? Because this is not a political show, right? How was that? Was that, that was rough. But I really, I started to take, do one of those little things, you know how people record it and you get like 50 million views because you just go on a little rant. That's what that was.